who is Korean American, was adopted by a um, American white family when he was three years old, and then abandoned, and went from foster home to foster home. And now we see him in his late 30s, married to Alicia Vikander, and trying to build a family that they never had. And so for me, the movie is really about, you know, what, what is a family? What does it mean to someone to be a dad, to be a daughter, to be a mother? You know, what consists of a family? I had never heard of Justin Chon and his work. And out of the blue, I got an email from him saying, um, I have seen your work and I think you would be perfect for the part of Parker that I wrote. Um, and here are the links to my two films that I've done, Gook and Miss Purple. And I watched them and I was, <sighs> I was floored. I was amazed. I was overwhelmed with emotion. And, you know, it's exactly the kind of projects that you want to be involved as an actor, you know, with meaning and depth and, and so many human emotions as well. So it, for me, it was a no brainer. So, before even reading the script, I was like, okay, I want to work with this guy. He's very much on the march of society. He's unemployed, you know, he's, um, he's hurt. He's doesn't, there's something about his identity that he's not dealt with, so he's not sure where he's at. She, I think she's not told anyone about her sickness, so that's kind of a burden and it isolates you. So I think that's why she could be, you know, seen as an outsider. And they're both kind of drifting in a way. Um, and they need, they have a need both to connect. Parker has integrated her Asian heritage. You know, she's, she's got a, a very strong family network and, she, um, you know, she's very close to her roots. Um, whereas, you know, because he was, adopted and abandoned and, and never really had any Asian culture uh, knowledge. And it's, it's kind of a, a wound for him. Um, he, it's, it's hurt. It's funny because he's very reluctant to start any friendship with her. Um, and I think because he's just been so hurt that he doesn't like to open up, but you know, because Parker is at her, the point where she's, she doesn't have time to waste anymore. So she's just gonna be, she pursues the friendship basically. And um, he's, he's tried so hard to hide, you know, his, not to think about his Asian heritage. And through her, actually, he's going to know what is a family, you know, what, what to be more, um, to be with Asian people. Asian Americans, actually. And so it's going to change his life. It is very timely because actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, that is Justin's gift, you know. I think he, he feels things. And so, you know, this script was written a long time ago and it talks about, you know, police brutality, abuse of power, deportation, immigration, a family separation, and it is what is happening right now. While we were shooting, we, there were ice raids, you know, in Mississippi. Then we've got Black Lives Matter movement, and it is so. It is timely, um, and it's very relevant. And I find that, but yet it's on the human level, and it's so very universal because we can all relate. I can relate to Parker, my character, because she's you no. Know, She's Vietnamese American, second generation immigrant. Um, I'm French Vietnamese, you know, second generation immigrant. Um, but you know what I could relate to is is how her family network is is very strong. I have that with my family. We we do exactly what what Parker does. You know, we meet up like every week. Uh, for big dinners and uh, lunches, and we sing and we talk, and it's a very strong bond, and and that I could relate to very easily.
There's so much polarization right now, so much fear and anger. Um, and I, what I liked about Blue Bayou and what I liked about Justin's work and all his films actually is that it's about people. It's not about the color of their skin. It's not about, you know, separate, separating communities. Um, and we need unity right now. And I, I do hope that, you know, when people see this film, it'll make them think about, you know, the situation of the world or, in this case, America. And that, you know, we need to be united. We can't be separated and polarized so much anymore. As a director, he's very much like an actor in the sense that he likes variety and he's always searching. So he will do as many different takes as possible. And also as an actor, every take will be different because he's always searching, you know. Um, and so you've got to be on your toes. You've got to be present. <laughs> you've got to be, you know, at the top of your game.